Hi, Keneally Axe. My name is Blair, and I'm a guest here at Chatfield Manor, where Mike Keneally records a lot of his stuff. And you know, it's really been fascinating for me to be here over the last couple of weeks. Mike's inside the studio right now, recording uh, new material, and it's been a unique perspective to be able to listen to how he builds these things. And I asked him if we, he would mind if I came in and he showed me, you know, exactly in Pro Tools how he put these things together. And when he said yes, I thought it'd be cool to have you come along. So let's go inside where they're, they're setting stuff up right now. Hi, Mike. Stop there. You stop there. Hi. Hey. How's it Hi. going? Good to see you. Good to see you. So um, I, I'm, I'm bringing everybody else with me. Hi, everybody. You said you wouldn't mind showing me uh, through the Pro Tools and so we could kind of dissect that song that I've been listening to you build yeah. over the last week or so. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay cool. Uh, this is Mike Harris behind the controls. Now famous Mike Harris because of the Guitar Player magazine. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, why don't you go ahead and come over here and... Mike, if you don't mind, just what what was really fascinating for me was hearing it start. Uh, you know, you start out with just sort of a bass line, and I thought that's a kind of a neat little bass line. And I remember even asking you about this one particular part in it. Okay. So can we hear that just solo? Yeah, uh, play uh, just just play from here, I guess. And, okay. and what I actually started with, I, I started with playing a bass line on a piano, actually. So you can just solo piano one, Mike. Okay. Mm -hmm. So going back in time. started with, uh, with me coming up with little sort of yeah baseline ideas with playing them on a piano rather than a bass. And what I asked you was, is this all in your head ahead of time or is this all just sort of happening organically? It's very organic. Yeah. Like like if, if we were to, to go back to the beginning of the song and listen to like just the very first few notes on, on, on piano one, that is basically all I had in my head when I started. Okay, so wait till you hear what happens. <laughs> okay, so the next day, uh, I, I, th that was about what I heard the first day. I mean, you were playing that, that piano section right. for a day. Uh -huh. Okay, so then the next day it seemed to take on a little more life. What was about, what was the next thing? Yeah, go, uh, go, go back to the, the section where we started, Mike, okay. and, then, and then I'll, I'll show you. We, did, we put on another piano, basically, to play kind of a, a counter melody on that section. When you say we, you mean you. Uh, but me. <laughs> but, but, but Mike Harris is a guy who actually sure, you know, sure. So it's a we makes it absolutely happen. become something other people. I was I was a part of it too. I was in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was okay, listening. So uh, so yeah, you'll you'll still hear the original piano and then another little piano idea that I put on top of it. Great. actually brought in, for some reason I was interested in piling up pianos and seeing how much piano I could put on something before it started to feel like Maxi too much piano. piano. Maxi piano. Yeah, so on the second half of that little da -da 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 section, there's, a, there's another piano that comes in to kind of, actually what it does is repeat what piano two does in the first half and then piano two goes in, well just play the three. Okay, cool. Yeah. So Piano two played at the in the first half is echoed by piano three a little more quietly in the right, second half, right. so that that melodic cell is carried over while piano two develops melodically further. So and piano in Italian over. means full, so you're trying to make it that way. <laughs> okay, so I then, have Italian, so it's never hard for me. I knew that's what you were thinking. Uh, so uh, then, so then you know I I knew that that 
I didn't need really to add more melodic information because that's already pretty dense. So at that point, it's just about uh, building up, uh, you know, rhythmically and solidifying the things that are already on there. So there's a bass part, a synth bass, that basically, why don't we solo that bass along with, with piano one? First, let's just hear the bass by itself. So actual bass. That's actually playing a bass patch on that thing. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's groovy. And actually, that's the second bass we put on. Can you uh, play the first bass there for a second? Yeah. To reinforce that. Yeah, but it's like a subsonic sound. It barely even sounds like notes, but it's just like giving a little extra body. And right. It pumps a little more in the second half. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Bum. So let's hear the, the, the two basses yeah. and the and piano one together. So this is about day three. I'm out around town shopping, and the only thing I can hear in my head is. So we'll bring in piano two and three. Again. So that, that you know, has a certain amount of impact, but I felt like it needed more, just like visceral pow. So uh, there's a couple of like percussion type tracks that, that we put in there. Okay. We haven't even gotten to guitar yet. Yeah, there's the guitars don't show up <laughs> until the next session. Yes. Yeah. Uh, That's so, what I really I think I came back from an outing and, and the guitar parts had been laid in and that was when I really went wow <laughs> this is just morphed into something that's beautiful. Just bring in perp one right now, Mike. Some kind of blowback was needed after the, the impact of that thing, so bring in perk two. And we, we put a, a delay effect on just perk two. Can you just just play perk two for a second, Mike? So uh, yeah, just to hear the sound that we put on this thing. Oh yeah. Okay, now just play that as part of the whole so melange. Yeah, tempo. it's, it's tempo. subtle, but that's going throughout the, yeah. this, this whole thing. So play every time. Yeah. Is that midied up to the tempo so yeah, that? Uh, yeah, it's okay. actually it's well it's it's linked to the to the uh, the click. Okay. So that yeah. it's it's doing those delays right, right in time. on any of this stuff. Right, this isn't yeah. finished, this is a work in progress. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. And then the very last thing we put on, can you solo just that, that kick drum that we put on yesterday? Uh, it's, this is again just sort of bolstering the, the rhythm of that very original piano. Okay. That just adds some, and sure. there's like a feeling of a room there too, so that it adds some nice atmosphere to the section. Okay. Also. Play it one more time with everything in. And that's what we got so far. Okay, so now here's the guitar part. Right. Uh -huh. Can you just, uh, on this whole section, can you just solo the three guitars? Yeah. You know, this is an indication of how, yeah, there's, there's like a Thing that's hiding in the, in the track. So you should just release everything and nothing but multi
harmony guitars. Yeah. Yeah. to hear that section with what you've got so far. Okay, just uh, play that with everything Are else. Are we missing anything, out. something else? Well, this, this to, section to that actually started, again, with Piano One. Everything on this song started with Piano One. So if you want to hear where this the, where the little section just uh, started, you can yeah. solo Piano One for a second, like that same section. Uh, where the solo is? Yeah. I just knew I wanted like, this relentless driving bass line. Yeah. I was going to put something on top of it, but I didn't know what yet. So, and then later I got the idea that those three part harmony uh, guitar things would be a nice punctuation. I still think something needs to go between them. I'm not sure yet whether it's a vocal, some kind of vocal solo in between those guitar statements. Uh, it depends on what's happening narratively uh, at, at this point in the song. All of this music is meant to accompany or describe some sort of narrative action in the story of Scambot. Which so is, this is potentially Scambot too? This is part, part of Scambot too. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so there's all sorts of uh, you know, character things happening that the music will end up describing in one way or another. Okay, great. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's hear that part <laughs> all together. Okay. That was the